In today's video, we will take a look at this scroll triggered overlapping effect from my Elementor template. So you can see if I scroll down, the heading and the entire container disappears behind this other container, which overlaps. And then if we continue scrolling, you can see that this is now revealed. So this is kind of behind the overlapping container. And this is actually some masking. So you can see that behind the text or actually inside the text, there is an image that is also revealed each time I scroll up and down. Okay, let's try and continue scrolling and see what's else on this page. So down here, you can see again, we have the overlapping effect. This is the same effect where our title goes behind a container. And down here comes the footer. I really like that the footer is kind of hidden and then you reveal it by scrolling down. And this overlapping effect was made without any custom code. It's only this text masking effect that needs four lines of CSS code, but it has nothing to do with the overlay uh, containers uh, effect. So if we scroll to the top of this page, you can see that this is actually my Elementor template that I've talked about in other videos. And if I go to the home page, we can take a closer look at this template. As you can see, it has a lot of scroll triggered features and it's only built with Elementor plugin. I personally use this template almost every time I start a new project for my clients or parts of it, because it's a huge time saver and a great starting point for me. If you want to grab it, it's available on my Gunrope shop. And to be honest, selling this template is the only thing that keeps my YouTube channel going, because creating videos like this takes a lot of time away from my clients' work. Okay, let's not waste any more time. I'm now inside the Elementor editor, so I can give you a kind of behind the scenes look of how this was built. But I'm guessing that you want to achieve this on your own website. So I think the best way for you to learn this is if I just rebuild everything from scratch. So I will go ahead and delete everything so I can show you how I did it. Okay, so first step, create a container. This container will be this one we could call it the hero container of this project. So I'll go ahead and change this to full width. And here in additional options, you'll have to find overflow and change it to hidden. Then this container needs to be uh, the set index of one. So this is kind of layer one. Okay, so the content or this background image is actually inside another container. So I'll just go ahead and add in a new container. And this container should also be full width, uh, but the height should be uh, view height. So I'll set it to 100. So it covers the entire screen. Okay, now go inside style and add this background image from our hero section. And let me go ahead and center everything. I will just set the position to center center and set it to cover and no repeat. I actually forgot something because this main container, the first container we made, needs to have uh, zero padding. So it it's all the way out now, you can see. Okay, so let's go inside the other container we just made. I'll just use this uh, structure or what you can, you can call it navigator, I think it was the old name, and click on this news container we have and uh, go back to layout and just make sure that this content inside of this is centered and this align items also is centered. Now this image needs to have some text in front of it and a button, but you will not be able to see it if it's too bright. So the image needs some overlay. I'll just add in some black overlay and set it maybe to the opacity of 0.4 like this. Okay, now I can go ahead and drag in my heading and um, a button. I will just quickly fast forward and style this. Okay, done. So one important thing I actually forgot is that this container actually needs to be sticky. So go inside advanced and find motion effects and set the motion effects to sticky top and make sure that this stain column is activated. So this will actually make it look like it's scroll triggered. Okay, next up, we'll go underneath this container and create our overlay container, this blue container. 
So I'll go ahead and create a new container here. And I'll just navigate into style and make the background blue. Okay, done. So now we go to the corners and I'll just give this a border range of 30 pixels. So we got this round corners. Okay, let's go into advanced and give it some padding at the top. I will just give it 100 pixels at the top and 100 at the bottom. And this container needs to have a set index of two because it needs to be overlapping this one, which is only uh, the set index of one. Okay, so now we just need some content inside this and this can be any content i'll just quickly fast forward and add my content okay done so now we have some content to work with but as you can see when i scroll down nothing happens so we still need to add the overlapping effect and this is where the magic happens so to create the overlapping effect find the first container we made and that's this one so inside this container i'll open it up here in the navigator and open up the other container so here we have the heading and the button so beneath the button i'll just go ahead and add in this spacer i'll just drag it in and make sure it's all the way at the bottom so you can't see it right now it's down here so this spacer needs to have a view height of 100 i know this is a bit confusing but it will make sense in a moment so now we have a lot of space you can see I can scroll upon a lot of space here because it's the view height of 100 this spacer. So the next container down here needs to have some minus margin. So it's it will be on top of this. So I'll click on this blue container and here inside the margin I will just remove this and change it from pixels to this custom view height and then i will just write in minus 110 view height so now all that space is gone so if i scroll back up you can see it's now revealing this container and it's working i'll just cl click publish and go ahead in a new tab and check if it's working there you go but what about the rest of this project for example this image in text effect and the footer well, I don't have a tutorial on how to do that, but you can access it through my Elementor template here. And again, by selling this template, I can keep making more videos like this. I'll just quickly show you how it works. So after you bought the template, you'll just have to find the page you want or import the entire template down here. But we just want the page where this project is on and that's the service page. So I click download and then I go into Elementor editor again and use Elementor templates here and just upload the file we just downloaded. And there you go, now you have imported the entire page where all the rest of this project is on. And now you can customize it to fit your needs. If you enjoyed this video, then take a look at my 60 second walkthrough of my Elementor template in this video.